11,000 pounds, basically on the nose as you see it built and equipped here today. Eagle 319 MLOK from Jayco here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, complete with the industry's best two year plus three year structural warranty. This is something in that mid size that gives you full size features, but with an absolutely stellar interior layout that just, it feels like, I don't know, like a, a beach condo vacation suite inside. It's awesome. Like most rear kitchens when the slides are closed, we're not exactly travel stop friendly, but that's the thing with rear kitchens. They're not made for travel stops. They're made for destination use. And I'm telling you, this one is worth the wait. And I love this floor plan. I mean, I love this layout. And I think it's because I, I like that it's neat and different. That's all cool. But like, there's an intangible, you know, it takes me back quality. And I think it's because it, it reminds me of when I was younger and I'd, you know, be hanging out with my grandparents for the day, sitting at their kitchen bar, my grandma at that rear sink back there, making me something to eat maybe, you know? It's just, it hits me right in the member berries and it always takes me back. Now you can see, obviously, we've got that ceiling fan for some extra airflow, those awesome looking pendant lights, but what you don't see is the air conditioner. If you don't see the square, you won't hear the air since it's whisper ducted air. Another thing we do on these Eagles, we uh, will typically outfit these with a, a second air conditioner from the factory up in the bedroom. And when you do that on an Eagle, you're getting a 15,000 BTU bedroom air. So this has a 30,000 BTU central air system. We are looking at this today in the modern farmhouse decor, but if this ain't your thing, I get that it's sometimes a little polarizing. They still offer it in brown on brown called American Tradition. And uh, you, you never know which one we might have here at Halet RV. This is a popular model. We try to build it a couple different ways sometimes. Now, uh, you've still got all like the dimmer light function that you had before, but some of the technology has changed. Jayco swapped over uh, to using the BM Pro control system here, which is uh, from their sister uh, company, Jayco Australia. And I like this. I like it a lot. Here's what, I mean, like, yes, you can get to your climate controls. Anything you do in this pad, you can still sync to your phone. You can do it from there. You can control your auto leveling. You can check all your tank monitors, etc. Like, that's fine. I like that you can do all that. But here's what I really like about it. I like that I just have a switch right here for things like lights. I like that I don't have to go through the touch screen. I can select if I want awning one, awning two, slide one, two, three. I can do all of that stuff without needing to go through the technical side of it. It's there if I want it. And the touch screen can offer more information, diagnostics, etc. But you're not, you don't have to use it. You don't have to wait for that screen to boot up or you don't have to whip your phone out of your pocket. It's just... It's just simpler, smarter, easier. Now, dead in the middle of this room is what is going to, I think, be most often referred to as the island. But I think that's selling it short because it's it's more than just an island. It is to me, it's like it's that kitchen table. It's that social meeting point. It's where you set out some food and a couple of you sit there with some chips and dip or chips and cheese or apparently I want some chips right now. Uh, but uh, the fact is, you know, it, it's it's arts and crafts time. It's the place where you can set the grandbabies and they can mess around with some Play-Doh and then you can just take a washcloth and wipe it off. Like, it's that family spot, you know? Even if it's just the two of you. Or if you have some friends over, you play some cards, whatever. Of course you have a very traditional theater seat directly across from the entertainment here. We'll get a better look at that the other way. Although, I want to draw your attention to that little silver button on the inside of that theater seat. This is now a power theater recliner, and there is a USB plug in there if you want to keep your phones all charged up. And, you know, Eagle is very good at this. They do what I like to call the destination dining desk. It's good for couples, but it's great for entertaining family and friends. Because it does a couple of things. First of all, You've got sort of a desk situation going on with that little gas strut assisted flip top. I love how it holds itself up. And the table can obviously extend with that leaf as you see to give you plenty of room for even four adults having a big old meal. Not to mention the fact that once again, you've got the coolest serving station you've ever seen in the RV business right next door. Now you've got two full-time chairs because this is at its heart a couple's camper, but we have some guest sleeping capacity and of course you could just have people over for the day and then send them on their merry way at the end of the night. Um, and that's why there's a pair of these fold-away guest chairs. You could store those in the front closet or under the bed, a little bit of whatever you want to do. Now you can build this one with different refrigerators. What you're looking at today is uh, our preference here at Halet RV. That is that 12 cubic foot, well they call it 13 suddenly now, 
uh, four door gas electric fridge freezer. Um, if you plan to do any towing whatsoever, this is the absolute worst position for a residential refrigerator being all the way on the back wall, all the way behind the axles. It's just too violent back there, and I have too great of a fear of those things failing. Even if it's only like a 10% chance. To me, that's with the volume that we handle at Halet RV, 10% is too high. Now, I kept seeing how this, this RV, it just kind of, the feeling of it brings me back. And this rear uh, corner back here overlooking the sink, this is a lot of it. My grandparents' house, growing up, they have a, uh, a rear corner kind of kitchen in their home's floor plan, and it's got a pair of big windows that overlook the backyard, and my brother and I, we could romp around and have a good time. Well, my grandmother was working on something over there. She was always in the sink with something out of the garden, um, usually tomatoes. Man, they had a lot of tomatoes in that garden, but uh, sorry, I'm off track. Anyway, the point is, she could keep an eye on us. Well, you get a cool look at your campsite or your destination or whatever, and I love the the whole way that the salad surface kitchen countertop is set up. You've got that extra sort of elevated shelf right above there. Neat little kind of rear corner area, whether it's going to be a dish strainer back there or just like a plant, and you want to have a little decoration. Now, around the corner, you've got some household outlets and the controls for that vent fan above. And uh, I had them off when we first walked up. I clicked them on as we walked over here trying to be sneaky sneaky, but there are two sets of lights going on. You've got normal overhead ceiling lights, but there's also an indirect light behind that little accent beam right there. One of the other things you might have noticed is there's that little extra faucet next to the sink right there. And that is a new addition here that you find in a lot of Jayco's fifth wheels now. It's a dedicated uh, drinking water system, basically just down below the sink like everywhere you see the counter space here there's storage below it and you can see obviously a nice space for a big dedicated waste basket but you see that the easiest way i describe it is a culligan jug a five gallon water jug so you can go to like any big box store you can refill those you can have a couple extras on hand and there's a separate uh 12 volt pump that will basically you see that little white line right there that, uh, that little cap goes on that jug and it feeds right up to that little extra sink fixture there for some dedicated, fresh filtered drinking water. I know a lot of people don't trust water at campgrounds, uh, especially ones that they're not familiar with. So it's nice that you can have fresh drinking water right there in the kitchen without really having to worry about like uh, killing a ton of storage space on like extra packages of bottled water. Big storage above that fridge, you saw the drawer below it. And as we uh, back up a little bit, again, more than just an island. That, in a sense, this is like a pass-through pantry. I mean, you got your big pots pan storage space right there. You don't have to go putting them under the sink. Now, in terms of drawer space, right over here where you're doing the bulk of your prep work, you see that you've got plywood drawers down to the floor, including a full extension drawer there under the oven. And those kitchen drawers are all soft closed, which is a nice touch. Now, I mentioned... Uh, you're going to have plenty of control over things like your lighting systems here in these Eagles. And you're going to find a bunch of these little pads. And what's cool is they are contextual, basically. They are different for each area of the RV. At not, no two uh, of these pads are generic. So here, I can turn on and off the kitchen ceiling lights, the pendant lights, the lights over the dining area. Or, since I'm standing over here on the door side of the camper, I could turn on all of the exterior lights in one shot without having to reach for my phone, without having to walk across the camper. And it's just a little things like that. I've said for years, Eagle is smarter. And that is a smart feature right there. And it's easy to miss because it's kind of black on black, but right below that window, there is a set of household outlets right next to the counter. So you are very, very appliance friendly. Now you've got great dedicated pantry space right here. And those are all adjustable shelves. If you want to pop those things out and rearrange them to your heart's content, you can, but uh, up above the sofa, you've got yet another big chunk of cabinet space. Now from here, we can zero in on the entertainment stuff. And there's uh, a really interesting thing I want to point out right here. You see this thing, this, this little mount. So this is a mount that you find in a bunch of different campers. And if you want, there is a specific Furion Bluetooth speaker you could attach to it. It's all, it'll charge the speaker while it's hooked up, which is neat. But... At worst, it's always a set of USB plugs, and I think that's a perfect spot. Like, I fiddle with my phone constantly. I shouldn't, but my wife, my kid, me, we're all, you know, we're tech addicted, basically. So, I like 
having those USB plugs right there. Kind of like I like having those USB plugs built right into that power theater recliner. Which, I mean, if you want to talk about being on Boardwalk and Park Place, this huge TV is directly across from you. Now, above it, of course, you have your Bluetooth DVD player, but the, they run HDMI wiring here. So it's not just high def capable, it's actually high def uh, output. And they also run an extra HDMI cable for you so that if you want to add an extra thing up here, you can. And wouldn't you know it, they put some household outlets up there to be able to power that extra thing too. If you are entertaining guests, the TV can swing out so that if you want to have yourselves an interesting little conversation corner right here, you absolutely can. And that mirror, it is, uh, I try to pretend I'm a vampire and I try to stay out of the mirrors, but it is just impossible for me to avoid that thing. You keep seeing my skinny, wacky chicken legs peeking at that thing, don't you? <laughs> but once again, kind of like the dining table. We're very guest friendly here. You can put a couple adults on there if need be. But what's also neat is you can see how this sofa does not block you from, it doesn't cut the camper off. You want to be able to walk through here, you can. You can actually still use one side of the theater seat normally. So like if you wake up, have a cup of coffee, want to sit down and kick on the uh, the shows, like I, I sleep in late, even as a little kid, I always did. So my grandparents would after a certain point just say, that's it, we're not being quiet anymore. If he wakes up, he wakes up. It's time for him to get going. We've kind of talked about the BM Pro system here, but as we come upstairs, you see the little sticker here that says, uh, wired for solar. There's roof solar prep on this RV, and this is where the uh, wiring pre-prep for the charge controller would be. Now, one of the cool things here is, again, you've got that you know easy one-touch lighting on the BM Pro system. There is all sorts of zone lighting, like there's a separate switch for the hallway lights or the bathroom lights or whatever. And one of the things I like here is they have uh, a lot of different lighting stuff going on in the bathroom. So I never remember which switch does what, so we're going to start with the first one I clicked, which is the little bit of night light. Now, you can see how even during the day, it's already changing the shade of the entire shower enclosure. No matter what decor you get, whether it's modern farmhouse or American tradition, the upper deck will always look the same. This is always what the Eagle bathroom will look like, and for good reason. It makes the whole room brighter at night, which that one little blue light helps you see at night. Now, obviously, we've got full-on, like, overhead viewing lights, but you've also got one of my favorite things, because I'm a morning zombie, in case you hadn't noticed the trend, a backlit morning mirror. And it casts just enough light around the room where I can see what I'm doing without getting blinded by the light, as the song goes. Good linen space, uh, plenty of headroom for even a tall person like me. And as we uh, come down here, you see also plenty of legroom for a long-legged person like me. Now here in the bathroom where you could splash around a lot of water, you have a sealed edge counter. Also, you have uh, a real tile backsplash right there. And that's one of the nice things, like every, every area of this eagle has like good hand feel qualities, good eye appeal. Now another very different thing they do here, and this is actually different even than other members of the Jayco fifth wheel family, is they use a different style of bathroom vent fan. The idea behind it is sort of like a Max Air fan with a vent cover. You can leave that running even if it's like rainy outside so that after you get out of the shower, you can exhaust all that heat and humidity and uh, not let rain get back into the RV. Starting from the top down in the bedroom, we begin with that optional second air conditioner. Once again, it is a 15,000 BTU centralized, so we have a 30,000 BTU uh, central air system through this Eagle. And with Jayco's Helix ducting system, it also has superior effective airflow. There are technically some air systems that whip air faster, but they don't push more air through the vents. They only whip air around the ducting. And I don't care about air in the ducting. I want it here in the cabin. You know, it just makes sense. Now, I, uh, I'm trying to do a better job of showing both sides of the closets of fifth wheels. That's something I've kind of not just thought about historically. So you can see that extra sort of dresser shelving there. Now, remember those black switch panels like we saw in the kitchen? There's one right over there, right on the headboard. You can turn on just the bedroom ceiling lights. You can turn on like all the inside or outside lights. So once again, it's just very intelligent how there's switches in each room that each do their own thing. Now there's one over there on that side of the bed, but there's also another one right over here. This one has a few different functions because this also has your slide buttons, whereas you're not going to lay in bed and push your slide outs. Like I said, Eagle's smart. Eagle's very smart. 
Uh, in addition to the optional second air up here in the bedroom, you'll also find that king bed upgrade that we typically outfit on our full Eagle fifth wheels. We've just had a huge outcry for something like that from people over the last couple years. Now there's more storage, there's washer dryer prep, but first, a full look at what's under the bed. It looks a little cluttered right now because I grabbed a little bit of whatever I could get my hands on to put down here to kind of demonstrate that there's some good storage here. It is a large, big storage chest. Now that big leather looking skin thing on the right hand side, that is one of those two fold away guest chairs. So like I said, you could easily stack both of those on one side and still have room under the bed for storage. And that is obviously easy lift on a plywood deck. Now, in addition to that dedicated closet space, did you see that light kick off just now? This is another Eagle is smart thing. And a lot of brands do this, but just boop, motion sense lighting like you're on the Star Trek Enterprise over here. Dedicated storage above. Uh, we are prepped for a combo washer dryer below, as is common in this class. And Eagle is pretty awesome about giving us a taller dresser here. Typically, a two-drawer dresser is what you normally find. So everything we're looking at, that top wide drawer, then those four smaller drawers below your TV hookups... That's the extra kind of stuff you're going to get in an Eagle. And, uh, you know, to, to say it as the kids say, Eagle is very extra. Which is kind of funny because when I say kids, I'm generally referring to people of my age bracket. But I'm old for my age, man. Every time I hear somebody my age come up with some new made-up word, I, I feel like an idiot because I have to go on Urban Dictionary to look it up. I have no idea what people are saying half the time anymore. And I really like how Jayco kind of cleared up the uh, warranty debate this year. They've had the longest RV warranty out there. They've offered basically double the RV coverage of nearly anybody else. But there was this three-year structural thing that came into the industry a few years ago, and it's fine. I'm not, I'm not knocking it at all. We have other products here that have three-year structural warranties. They're great. It's a nice peace of mind thing. But it's not a full RV warranty, and typically structural coverages um, they're, they're far more limited than what you're actually going to need on a daily basis. Well, Jacob cleared it up. They said, fine, we're two year and three year. So, you know, you've got that extra year of structural coverage right there, just kind of clearing up any of those potential worries, misconceptions. Now, part of the reason that they're able to have twice the warranty is because basically they're built a little thicker in certain places. And that's one of the reasons Eagles are not the lightest of their class and category, but they're one of the longest lasting. Um, I have skipped over something though. I don't have my battery box hooked up currently. On the nose up here, uh, on either side of that Jayco emblem, there are these awesome orange LED glow beams. And you're thinking, orange? Well, Jayco's like the bluebird. This is a, a platinum silver eagle. Why orange? Well, orange is uh, DOT approved. So that if you did happen to leave them on or have them on somewhere, you're not going to have Johnny Law pull you over and write you a ticket. Because that's not a good day for anybody, is it? Now, right up front here, just the different method of thinking and line of thinking on these Eagles starts to come into play. This has room for up to like four batteries, if you are so inclined, just in this uh, right-hand compartment. Now, if you wanted to go crazy, you could fill that entire front compartment with batteries and wire it up to your heart's content. Now, uh, the auto leveling system is something that we do like to apply to all of these, uh, the big full eagles with the bed slides. It just, it just feels appropriate that if you've got a bed slide, we like to throw a king in there and put uh, the uh, optional auto leveling onto it. And given the fact that we can't keep this floor plan in stock, typically I'd say that we're onto something there. The uh, Eagles have been, uh, you know, hot cold camp rated with some of the very best proven not just like marketing, but actual proven hot cold camp data out there for years. I mean, they're, they're just absolutely stellar that way. And I like how they've just kind of dressed up their uh, enclosure here in, inside that docking center with that galvanized rolled steel. Now, this has roof solar prep. We're going to talk about that. But here you can see that you also have a side solar prep. So you can have one panel chasing the sun or you can have a fixed panel on the roof. A little bit of whatever you want it to be. Now couple things. Well, let me point this direction. If you look up at the bathroom and bedroom deck, you see a layer of double-sided thermofoil right there with a heat run running right through it. That style of heat run is, again, vastly more effective at heating your RV. And the fact that they've got a thermal barrier, like you've got a fully insulated bedroom, plus you have a radiant barrier protecting you from this middle cavity here, and then as we get down, you can see that we have a fully enclosed forced air heated and actually insulated underbelly. Um, all that kind of comes together to give you some pretty impressive hot cold camp ratings. Now, over here, these tires, 
This is a best in class feature. We've got uh, American sourced Goodyear Endurance radials rated for 87 miles per hour at only 80 PSI. What that means in English, this is the only American sourced tire used in the RV industry with the highest speed and load ratings available. And you don't have to go to an industrial tire shop to top them off. If you've got a generic pump or you stop at a gas station, you can put air in these tires. Also, if I take a knee and climb under here, you'll see that these Eagles ride on the same Moride CRE 3000 rubber shock dampening suspension system that their big brother, sister, North Point, and Eagle use. Again, Eagle is very good about using the big RV features in a mid-size class. Eagle was also the first to bring us the J-Smart lighting system, which is used in various forms across uh, different members of Jayco RV, but it all began here. Long story short, what it is stands for signals, markers, and reverse travel. If you flip on your left turn signal, all uh, extra upper clearance lights and all the associated left side marker lights will blink with your turn signals, just like a semi-trailer if you're going down the highway at night. That is technology that's existed probably for decades. It's just never found its way into the RV, RV industry until Eagle decided to do it better different. And you see the white element in those taillights. That is the reverse travel aspect of it. So if you have a spotter or if you're using that uh, rear view camera prep, you can actually uh, see what's going on at night. Now the two inch receiver hitch on the back has been there for several years. That is ideal for being able to add accessories to your RV without negatively affecting any sort of aspects of your warranty. So if you have a small portable generator or bikes or cargo or whatever, you can add those things to an Eagle without, you know, adverse effects. Historically in the RV industry, if you have something like a camp kitchen or convenience station or whatever you want to call it over here on the campsite, Usually, that slide out is not designed to have an awning on it. That is one thing Eagle did right from day one on this floor plan. They always made it dual awning capable so that you always have maximum patio coverage on this thing. Now, this is a really neat little, I don't know if you call it, a, again, a kitchen, a convenience station, or whatever you want to call it right here. But it's awesome. I like that it gives us a little bit more fridge space and that fridge, especially just throw some drinks or something in there, it will uh, eliminate the need to be climbing in and out of the RV quite so frequently and tracking dirt through the RV to get to that rear fridge. It makes a lot of sense on a rear kitchen model actually. Now over here, you can do some serious grilling because you do have the uh, Capital Grill right here. These things burn so hot, they actually cannot put them in a wood enclosure. They, didn't use, uh, they did need to use a galvanized rolled steel. Now someone might ask, yeah, but there's no sink out here. And you're right, there is no sink, but for good reason. This is a fifth wheel. It already sits higher than most travel trailers. Plus, this camp kitchen is mounted in a slide out, which sits higher still. To put a sink in this, it would have to be up so high that basically you'd, it'd only be good for like washing your hair. You know, it, it's just, it'd be too high. So they give you a little like cold water sprayer station to do a little like, you know, hand clean up. But frankly, guys, I'm sure you just have a couple paper towels. I'm sure you'll make it and you'll, you'll find a way. Now, while we are up here, it is kind of neat that like if you're not grilling, you put that away right there. You've got this cool little convenience prep station right here. So whether it's going to be, you know, uh, like even an outside fan, I suppose, or uh, electric cook stations, blenders, etc. You've got uh, another one of those Furion mounts, which basically is just a two-port USB hub that you could theoretically mount a Bluetooth speaker to. The Barley Poppinator uh, 37 series. <coughs> anyway, now up here you've just got some handy uh, pantry shelving, but it does have TV hookups. There is the, you could option a TV out here. We've just found not a lot of people are super interested in it, which is why we don't do it, but good news is you always can effectively. There's just an extra piece of wood that goes here. You mount the TV to it, and you still have the shelves behind you. Don't lose that. Now, as we approached, you probably noticed the steps are sticking up at a wacky angle because Eagle's not just using a Moride stable step system. They're using the best one that there really is available, the Zero-G Moride stable steps. And if you notice peeking out behind it, is the same massive extra large entry handle that you find on something like a North Point or a Pinnacle. And that's the kind of stuff Eagle does. Eagle is technically, I guess you call it a mid-size fifth wheel that has big size features. If, if I boiled Eagle down over simply, that's exactly who they are. They're a mid-size fifth wheel with big size features, such as a 
very large pass-through storage. This is an absolutely huge cavity down here that rivals something uh, in terms of cubic foot of storage like a North Point. Now, there's motion lighting over here next to me that you might have noticed kicked on as I approached. You can see the outside TV hookups there. But there's also motion lighting over there on the other side because you're going to use both sides, not just one side or the other. So it makes sense, doesn't it? Now you might notice how those baggage doors are extra tall. That is not an accident. If you are so inclined, you can actually outfit these Eagles with 40 pound propane tanks uh, as opposed to the twin standard 30s that you'd normally find in them. Though I think most of the time, the 30s are probably gonna suit you just fine. Now a couple quick reiterations while we're up here. You see that low profile front bedroom air conditioner? That's a 15,000 BTU, as is your, your main AC is always a 15. Now, in this class category, if you add a second air conditioner, it's typically a 13.5, which, don't get me wrong, that's not bad. I mean, that's fine. It's just that Eagle's not about good enough. There's good and there's better. And that's where Eagle's trying to be, is in that better category. Now, it does mean that Eagles tend to be a pound heavier. It does mean Eagles tend to be a dollar more. But if you're looking for your last fifth wheel, I think Eagle's definitely one of those that could be on that list, you know? If you look at the build structure of this, it's built just like a North Point, a Pinnacle. It's just a little bit smaller, but it has all those same big camping features. And then a couple little Eagle specific things, like your bathroom vent fan up here. The way that this is kind of shaped, you don't need to get like a Camco or a Max Air vent cover or something like that. The air vents are actually down here underneath. So if uh, you, you hit a situation where it is a little bit rainy day or something like that, you can leave those vents open, leave that fan running inside. Um, the kind of the phrase that we've sort of adopted here at Halo RVs, it's sort of like a vortex style, even though that's actually a different thing. I don't know why, it just always made sense to us. Your Air, uh, uh, air 360 wine guard antenna over there, that's that black bucket looking thing. Well, basically it's an omnidirectional antenna so that you don't have to, you know, crank the antenna up and down and risk having it hang over the side of the RV and accidentally ripped off by tree branches. Though, very few RVs have anything remotely similar to that anymore. Solar prep, that's the tiny rectangle there with all sorts of room here so that if you want to go roof solar crazy on this Eagle, we are looking at a lot of blank canvas. And there's other things like the uh, Magnum Truss roof system, the plywood roof decking that we're walking on right here. The fact that this has the heaviest roof load rating of anything in its class by like 50% more at that. But that's all cool stuff, but again, that's those are the things that make an Eagle maybe a pound heavier, a dollar more, maybe more than just one pound and one dollar, but you get the idea, I think. So, that's why we carry all this different stuff here, guys. Maybe you don't need all of that, but if you want all that, if you like all that, if that's what you're seeking, we have it. And if you don't need and want and seek all that, well, we have that too. Because the only thing we don't do at Halet RV is hidden dealer fees. But short of that, we do hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package, deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.